Seven of the Bond from Nets Republic. You see the top of the video? It's a very simple question, but it's a question that I don't feel like we're asking enough. Some people are kind of muttering it, but there's been so many other distractions going on this season that we've lost track of one of the most interesting headlines of the season thus far. Remember Joe Harris? Admittedly, I forget he's on the team too. And it's not, you, you know, that's not like a carryover from last year's playoff series where we're slandering him. It's, it's, it's just more so a legitimate fact. There's been so much going on with the drama of Kyrie and his vaccination status. And is he going to play? And can he play? And will he be a part-time player? And how's that going to work? And Kevin Durant and him being healthy. And then, you know, he's hurt. And now he's gone for like a month and a half. And we don't know when he's going to be back, possibly after the All-Star break. We don't know what's happening with James Harden. Is the foul baiting new calls getting to him? And was it the hamstring? Now he's got a mysterious hand injury. I, I would have figured it was a back injury from carrying the team, but that's not even there. Just, just all these various storylines, like what's going on with Blake Griffin? He was the starting center. Now he's not. Is LaMarcus Aldridge like truly like made a full recovery from the COVID chronicles? I mean, there's just been so many different things that we've been trying to piece together. Will Claxton ever be fully healthy? I mean, so many things that you can wrap up on the ending credits of tune in next time on the next episode of Dragon Ball Z to find out type stuff that we've completely forgotten Joe Harris got hurt. Joe's hurt and this man's not back yet. There's no timetable on when he'll be back either. There's a possibility that we see KD before we see Joe Harris again. And while there have been speculations of are we going to flip Claxton and what's going on with uh, Paul Millsap, what are we going to trade him for? Wow, there's been so many storylines. I haven't even repeated myself yet, but that's not here there. We have completely left out Joe Harris, not in general trade talks. If we're talking about trying to get rid of someone for another start, which God, do we need another star? But that's not here there. The title of the video is suggesting something that I want to bring to everyone's attention. And I will ask you several times during this video before I tell you what I think at the very end. Spoiler alert. <laughs> I think you know what I'm going to say. But let me ask you for the first time. Do you think Joe Harris returning saves the season? In terms of spacing, in terms of getting everyone back to their general roles, that is regardless if Kyrie Irving is playing or not, does Joe Harris's best shooter in the league, which is more of a statistic and less than an opinion, is, 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 is headband Joey coming back going to be enough to save this season? So let's say hypothetically Joe Harris comes back tomorrow. He won't, but let's say hypothetically he comes back tomorrow, right? You're looking at a starting lineup of allegedly Harden, Kyrie Irving, Joe Harris at three, I guess. Patty Mills goes back to the bench. Kessler Edwards, I assume, starts at four. And Claxton at five, since we're back to having Claxton as a starter again. Do you think we win that game, regardless who it is that we play? Which I honestly don't know who we play tomorrow. I don't really think it matters with the way we've been playing lately. But hypothetically, let's say it's a middle-of-the-road team that no one really cares about. Like, say it's... I don't know, like the heat or something like that, right? Look, like they're having a little flash in the pan moment, but we all know they're going out in the first round to the Bulls or something like that. You know what I mean? And ignore the matchups. I'm just trying to poop on the heat for a minute. But let's say we play the heat tomorrow. I think we're still on the West Coast, but that's not even there. Is that enough to win the game? Let's see. James Harden recovered from the hand injury, is allegedly back from hamstring, 100% fine. Kyrie Irving being the reincarnation of Jesus that we know he is. Offensively, Joe Harris being an option that will guaranteed hit an open three. Hmm. Okay. Okay. That gives Kessler Edwards someone else to have a little splash brother thing with. That's kind of dope. And then there's so much attention on you can't leave Kessler open, you can't leave uh, Joe Harris open, and obviously you've got the two other superstars. Claxton is just running amok. That's not that bad. 
Patty Mills gets to come off the bench where he honestly probably signed up to be. Him and LaMarcus Aldridge just go crazy. Ah, LaMarcus is hurt. Him and Blake Griffin just go crazy. And Dayron Sharp and company too. That's not bad. Cam Thomas out there too coming off the bench. That's not that bad. Okay, let's say he comes back and Kevin Durant is also healthy as well. He won't be, but let's say they're both healthy tomorrow. They won't be, but let's just, hypothetically. Okay, um, Katie's out there. So you're looking at a starting lineup because they never have Joe come off the bench, ever. Which I, I'm not sure what he did to obtain this type of, but anyway, he gets the Joe Harris treatment and he, and he never comes off the bench. So again, uh, instead of Kessler Edwards at four, I guess that's Kevin Durant at four next to Claxton. Ooh. Mm. Class and a Katie start. I like that. Okay, so starting backwards. Let's go backwards. That's Claxton, Kevin, Joey, Kyrie, Harden. So now instead of Kessler Edwards, you've got Kevin Durant, who is arguably the best player in the league. Wow. And again, you have the same dynamics off the bench, but now Kessler Edwards is coming off the bench too. Wow. Let's run the Sever the Bond fantasy lineup. So we're talking about a bench unit. Let's say let's add, add LaMarcus Aldridge. Let's say he's, he's, he's perfectly fine and ready to go. If we run my Sever the Bond death lineup and you play LaMarcus at center and Blake Griffin at power forward, we're talking about a bench unit right now, with Patty Mills and Cam Thomas, and I guess your other person would be Kessler Edwards at three. God, that is deadly. And all of this is because... All of this is because Joe Harris is back. So let me ask before I go any further. Does Joe Harris returning save this season? Now let's drop reality into this. Let's say it's a home game. So you don't have Kyrie Irving. And you're looking at just Harden. Kevin Durant's still hurt. But we've got Joey. So let's run that starting lineup. You've got... I would assume Harden at point guard. You don't have to start Patty now. But let's say they do for some reason. They really don't need to at that point, but let's say they do. Patty Mills at two, Joe Harris at three. Um, Katie's hurt, so Kessler Edwards Claxton. I mean, that's still pretty good. It's not amazing, but I mean, that's still pretty good. Let's say Patty Mills comes off the bench and doesn't start. You put up there Bruce Brown at two? Maybe you know, Kim Thomas? I know some of y'all don't like that take, but let me think of someone more realistic. Uh, Bembry? I mean, you can even put Javon Carter out there, really, just for defensive purposes. Um, I mean, you could go, like, totally crazy and have, like, Joe Harris at the two. Bembry at three? Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's there's options. For me, I think I think Joe Harris being out there is like a second Patty Mills. Now, obviously, Patty Mills, his offense is a little more diverse, but so is Joe. Like, let, let's not get Joey messed up. Like, he's just Kyle Korver, who is ironically the net shooting coach, but that's not here there. But... Joey's got other ways to score too. I mean, he's got a pretty, pretty Clay Thompson as finishing game where it's stiff as I don't know what. But I mean, he 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 still gets the shots off. He's got decent post presence. I mean, he's not gonna have a hook shot over anyone, but I mean, he knows what to do. Plays decent defense here and there, and Joey can get the ball off the catch. He can get it. Um, off like an Iverson cut, obviously that would be in the three-point range instead of stopping at the mid-range. But 
I mean, it's, it's, it's basically like having a second patty, only the percentage is actually higher. So having two patties out there, that's pretty good. So let me ask you this. I won't give my opinion because I don't think that's fun. I'm going to leave it completely up to y'all. Do you think the addition of a healthy, fresh off the ramp up, do you think the re-addition and the reintroduction of Joe Harris, regardless the health of the other contributing members of the big three, do you think that saves this season? You let me know what you think down below. And I'll give you my answer in the beginning of tomorrow's review. After whoever it is that we play Webs the Fort with us. I will give you my answer in the beginning of the video. But I want to know what you think. Tell me down below. Sever the bond. Nets Republic. Joe, come back whenever you're ready because Jesus knows we need you. But let me know your thoughts. Do you think this, this, this saves the season? Do you think the incompetence of Steve Nash gets you raised because the scoring is like, you know, twice as nice with Patty? So mm -hmm. let me know what you think. I'll tell you what I think in the beginning of tomorrow's video. Yeah. Yeah.